Welcome back to Bath Brickers. My name is Rich, and in today's video, we have got this. Now, this contains a set, pretty much complete set, uh, that I have bought because I collect the minifigures in the theme that this set represents. Now, it is not easy to get hold of this stuff, it's fairly rare, uh, difficult to get it in good condition, and I've been on the lookout for this particular set for quite some time. So why don't we open up the box uh, here and so why don't we open up the box here and see what we've got inside. Okay, so here is the box and let us see what we have got inside. Oh, oh my goodness. You can probably tell from the base plate what set it is. If the base plate doesn't help, maybe these will help you. And if those don't help you, I'm pretty sure the instructions will. Look at that. It's set seven, uh, sorry, 6766, the Rapid River I think it's village, Rapid River Village. So unbelievable to have this. And the reason that I'm so keen on this is uh, because I collect all of the minifigures from the uh, Western theme. And uh, these are the Native Americans that I don't have. I have all of the cavalry folks, but I do not have uh, a lot of the Native Americans. So, I mean, this, these are in great condition as well. These are the, the uh, teepees that go like that. And they're just, you know, very little fraying, very little fraying at all. Just beautiful condition. They're actually quite thick. They're actually quite thick. They're like a, I mean, you'd say almost like a thin cardboard, I suppose. Um, and then just look at some of the parts that you get in here. <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, I'm not going to build it here, but we're just going to try and pick out a few of the, the key parts. So, let's just put the some of these to one side for, for now, because those are obviously the things that we're most interested in but I mean first thing to say is <laughs> look at these big ugly rock pieces so these are obviously the ones that are in the just light grey just the old light grey uh, so you can see there's a sort of medium sized one there and then there's the big one and we've got quite a few of those so uh, we can just put those all over there uh, So loads of those, it's like eight I think of those in total. Uh, we've then got these really wonderful ramp pieces. So these are these are not uh, unusual. I, and actually I think in one of the most current sets that you get uh, with uh, tracks and things like that, you can get loads of these ramps in the uh, dark bluish gray, but interesting to get those in the blue that I don't think I've ever had before. Keep finding these little things. Uh, I'll come to that in a sec. There's some hair and bits and bobs like that. And then these are, are you, I mean, you, if you looked at that, you would think that that was just a normal sort of playset thing, wouldn't you? Uh, you know, maybe from the early learning center, it's a Playmobil or something, but no, it is absolutely Lego. You can see from there studs and some of the markings and these are in the old brown color and there's two of those which are fantastic hollow inside which means that you can hide all sorts of goodies in there and then we've got these old masks so these obviously were what made the the teepees and there'll be a base around here that you sort of connect them to so lovely to see those i think off oh, sometimes you see these in old ship sets as well maybe uh, Lots of bricks, as you would imagine. Uh, and then we have got some bushes, uh, which look to be 
often when you get these they often have uh, some of the spindles broken but all of these really do look like they're in fantastic condition yeah really good so pleased with those uh, and then you can see here there's bits of paraphernalia so this is from a one of the totem poles i don't know if this uh, i'll have, have to put that together in a bit but you can see those parts and they've got some of the uh, feathers that go with the minifigures great to see some of the bows bows and arrows quite a few of those um, and then obviously things like the shields which have uh, just amazing uh patterns on them they do so let's just get some of that stuff over there so that it's all together and then we can move on to the minifigures after a very enjoyable i don't know 45 minutes 50 minutes something like that and uh, definitely a few mistakes here we have set 6766 the rapid river village and as i said the main reason that i wanted to get this was because of these minifigures so i collect the all of the minifigures from the western uh, theme i was missing quite a few of these actually so it was really good to get them and that you know the reason that i like these so much is just the the detail on them is is wonderful uh like i mean for example here's the here's the chief and just look at the detail that you can see on their hat no back printing or anything like that but it's just fantastic and the torso and even leg printing i think is really good as well uh we've got just one of the normal uh, native americans here again really lovely printing including some nice face paint there on the on the face um and then we have these over here now these are interesting and this is always a bit of a quandary when you're when you're collecting so these are exactly the same figure exactly the same figure the only difference is that one has the quiver on the back and the other one doesn't now these are actually uh, two different figures i think this is number 14 ww014 this is ww016 so the question is always do you do you collect them uh you know fully and i think the answer has to be yes personally so it's you know nice to have the the complete uh, set of numbers the thing that i don't do is i think there's a chief figure it might even be this one to be honest where uh this figure exists but then it's also got a lego logo on the back and uh, i think that was rare and exclusive or it came from a particular uh set or, or something so i don't tend to get those variants where it's like i think this is ww 017 and then you can get one which is variant b as well which i don't do the other thing that's pretty amazing here and again it's a bit of a it's a bit of a quandary for minifigure collectors is do you uh also have things like this the shield so this is a wonderful shield with a fantastic print uh, so much detail in here the question is, do you have the minifigures with their accessories? Now, <clears throat> I don't know whether I made the right decision on this, but I basically decided not to include accessories on the minifigures. And that's partly because the listing on Bricklink is only ever the minifigure. It doesn't include accessories. And often when you're collecting, you've just got to, you know, go for what you can. So I decided not to not to go for accessories with my minifigures i may well regret that i i don't know but um that's what i've gone for with my collecting and then the final bit of course is the are these wonderful horses so these are the old ones that have just got the moving heads like this you know there are some of uh, some of the more modern ones that have got moving rear legs but it's got really fantastic printing you gotta be slightly careful you can take it off but there you can see some great detail on this and it's the same for the brown one here of course one thing you have to be careful of is when you take off these spears you don't want to break the clips here which are often in some of the older sets you do tend to find that but these are in wonderful condition prints are great so they are gonna do very well for me on bricklink so again just just as the final thing i what i do is i, I buy sets like this so i enjoy putting them together uh, obviously now that we're here on 
YouTube, I can share with people what we've done, but I will then uh, uh, put these folks in my minifigure collection and then all of the rest, all of this, I will then actually sell on Bricklink. And you know, there's some quite good rare parts here. So like the shields, the teepees, which I said before are in really good condition. The, uh, these tree stumps, the burps that are in the different, uh, in light bluish gray. Uh, what else have we got that's particularly, maybe the canoe, the horses, obviously, as I've said, these bushes are gonna be really good. We've even got, look at this, dark bluish, uh, dark, no, sorry, just dark gray parrot, which is quite exciting. I will, uh, uh, and obviously the base plate, sorry, I forgot about the base plate. So I will list all of that on Bricklink and obviously sell that over time. You have to pay fees and stuff like that, but that will help subsidize essentially or take off the cost so that eventually these figures will probably end up being a little bit cheaper than uh, if I'd have just bought them outright. Yes, of course, it takes a lot more time. There's no guarantee that all of these parts will sell, but uh, I find it pretty, quite an interesting way of doing things. Oh, and I, the other thing that I mentioned, just as we've got my squeaky chair there, is uh, is the instructions were great. And these obviously themselves are pretty valuable to be, to be perfectly honest. Uh, only a little tear here, but otherwise they're in, in good condition. You can see here the minifigs. And uh, anyone who's built any sets like this that are a little bit older will know that uh, Lego never do, you know, like the here's the parts that you have uh, to, for this particular step. They don't show you like where they go. I mean, obviously here they do, um, but you know, often there's the outline. So I made loads of mistakes when I was building this set just because uh, there were bits that I didn't spot. And um, I think I had one or two bricks at the end that were left over that I you know, had just missed uh, putting on. So you do have to be a little bit more careful and take a little bit more time when you're doing uh, this. So really, really lovely set. Really pleased to have it. Uh, great to, uh, com not quite complete, but have most of these minifigures now, which is wonderful. Uh, a couple of them I already have, so I'll be listing these uh, else on my Bricklink store as well. And just great to have the opportunity to build this with some of the old gray, light gray, old dark gray, uh, the teepees um, and uh, some of the old brown and stuff as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, remember, there's lots of this type of thing that we do on our on our YouTube channel, uh, talking about what we buy and sell on Bricklink or on eBay, what we're collecting and so on and so forth. So hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon.